is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Welcome. It is the Big Trail Network. I'm its host and creator, Tyzilla83. I hope you're doing well. The Razorbacks are going to host the number one Alabama Crimson Tide, possibly Nick Saban's best team that he's ever put together. They're, they're, they're in Fayetteville, so I want you guys to do me a favor. If you plan on going, let me know down below in the comments section. If you guys plan on being in Fayetteville for this game, I'd like to know. And, of course, I want your predictions. I want your scores and, and your, your thoughts and your predictions on the game as well. So let your voice be heard down below in the comments section. But before I get into the, to the game, before we break this thing down, if you guys would, at the end of the video, like, comment, share the content that you've just watched. And, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. And, of course... Feel free to check out all the links down below in the description box. There's a really cool uh, PTN Patreon link. I'd, I would really appreciate it if you guys would go check that out as well. So let's let's dive into this to this matchup. This is surprisingly one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make. Why? Because Alabama is just so freaking good, and Arkansas is so damn bad. Now you think that make for an easy video to make. But it's not. It's not because I keep looking for areas where Arkansas might be able to not get completely blown out of this game, and I, I can't find an angle. I, I've tried everywhere I can. Tua, their sophomore quarterback, you know, the guy that's probably going to win a Heisman eventually, this guy has thrown for over 1,000 yards, okay? 14 total passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns, no interceptions, a pass completion ratio of 75%. I mean, he's been. I mentioned he's only been sacked twice. Did I mention that? I mean, this this offense when he's out there is almost unstoppable. Alabama has torched everybody they've played. Uh, nobody has come close. There's no. I cannot see one outcome where Arkansas keeps this thing relatively close. They might be able to play for a quarter or maybe a half simply because of their defense. But again, you're talking about an Alabama team that averages 53 points a game, 550 yards of offense. They only give up 13 points while also only giving up just north of 300 total yards of offense. That's all they give up, just th just around 315 a game. Their defense is so good. Their offense is legit. We know that. I mean, I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know, and I'm not saying anything that you haven't already heard. I just don't see an outcome where they beat this spread. I, I don't see an outcome where Arkansas doesn't get blown out. Again, Bama picked by 35. You're going to ask me what's your score. I, right now, I've got I've got Alabama winning this thing 55 to seven. I think the only reason why Arkansas puts any points up is because they've got Alabama's got their third team in, in the fourth quarter, and they just happen to give up either a special teams play and it puts Arkansas in a good position, and they figure out a way to to get six on the board, or their defense gets a pick six, because we know Arkansas's defense can take the football away. It doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that Arkansas can't at least play these guys for a half. But I still just don't see a scenario where they don't get blown out, even in Fayetteville. You know, and I know people want to reference, well, yeah, you know, you watched how they lost to Colorado State, and then you watched the fact that North Texas, you know, beat them. Well, when you look at the North Texas situation, that was because they turned the ball over like 15 times. Arkansas beat the living crap out of themselves. And North Texas just kind of helped. You wonder if that's going to be this scenario all over again. Is Ty Story going to be given any time to throw the football? I just don't see it. Arkansas, Ty Story on the year, he's thrown four touchdowns. He's thrown four picks. He's 44 of 87 for 631 yards. You know, now obviously had he been given more reps, he'd have more yards. But then you wonder would he have more interceptions. One of the things I will say is they have gotten better week by week. Um, they have. They truly do look like a different team. I don't think this team today is the same team that took the field against North Texas. And just think, I think as the year goes on, they're going to get better and better. They're going to sneak some wins out. They will. They will get an SEC win somewhere, either Ole Miss, Vanderbilt. They're going to beat Tulsa. I, I just feel it. They're, they're at that level. This game, you're just going to have to take it for what it is. I don't think you can let this game tear down your hopes for improvement, and I don't think you should let it tear down – you know, your hopes for the future for Arkansas football. After all, there is help. It's coming. It's with that 2019 recruiting class. There is some positivity there. If they do manage to not get blown out, if they can keep it under 35 points, that's a huge moral victory in my opinion. But this says more about Alabama than it does Arkansas. I mean, it does tell you, again, Arkansas is a bad football team. Alabama has not been favored against an SEC team on the road by this much, ever. Under Nick Saban. Again, this kind of tells you 
it's two sides to one coin. How bad Arkansas is is just how good Alabama is. So you heard my prediction. You heard my score. That's where I'm at with it. I, I don't know. I want again. I want to know what you guys think down below in the comments section. I've seen some. I've seen some people say that. Oh no, they're going to find a way to get an upset. <laughs> oh man. I think some people are taking that Nick Saban comment about Arkansas being a trap game a little bit too seriously. I mean, come on. They're going to have a hard enough time just trying to keep this thing within 35 points. But that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share the content that you've just watched. And, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. Please, oh, please, check out the, the links down below in the description box. There will be, and, and I'm just going to throw this out there real quick, there are a lot of, of recruits in town for this game. I don't know. I've already been asked, can we expect any kind of recruiting news next week or within the, at least the next couple of weeks? I don't know. I haven't been told anybody's going to commit yet or anybody's thinking about committing. There are some there are some players that are expecting to eventually commit, but not anytime soon. So we'll keep a lookout for that. So, But you guys know, as soon as there's a commitment, we will have a video out for you ASAP. So, But, yeah, that's going to do it. Woo pig. Enjoy the games this weekend. And, um, uh, don't drink a drive. Call an Uber. Call a Lyft if you're out on Dixon Street. Be careful. Be safe.